Hi, I'm Old Ed Haya, and today I'll be doing a review of the Handy Heater. This is a personal heater that plugs directly into your wall outlet that's designed to provide you warmth and comfort wherever you need it. It retails for $29.99 plus an $8.99 processing and handling fee if ordered through handyheater.com. Of course, you can also purchase the Handy Heater on Amazon for a higher price of $49.88. Now, the Handy Heater claims that it provides on-demand instant heat. It plugs into any wall outlet. It has a compact design. It can heat up to 250 square feet of space. It stays cool to the touch and it has a whisper quiet operation. Using the handy heater is supposed to be as easy as plugging it into any outlet and setting the controls to your desired temperature. The company does claim that this heater is ideal for small spaces such as dens, reading nooks, offices, campers, basements, and garages. Now, the handy heater is surprisingly compact. Before I opened the box, I did expect it to be a lot heavier, bigger, and more bulky. However, I do think that the size of it is just right for a device that's supposed to be plugged into the wall. The handy heater has a nicely sized digital display. You have your plus and minus buttons, which select the temperature and the temperature settings range from 60 to 90 degrees. You also have the speed button, which switches between high and low intensity of the fan, as well as the timer button, which allows you to program your heater to stay on from one to 12 hours. And on the side of the heater, you have your main power on and off switch. Now, once plugged in and turned on, the handy heater does make a noise, which sounds very much like a fan. It's not very loud, but it's definitely audible, and I certainly wouldn't describe it as whisper quiet operation. Now, I tested out the handy heater in several places around the home and office. When tested in an office that's about 150 square feet, I turned the handy heater on to 90 degrees and set it to the highest fan setting. Now, what I found was that when the door to the office is open, you notice very little to no changes in the temperature of the room. I didn't particularly feel the room getting much warmer or the temperature changing. I did try to move the handy heater to a corner of the room to see if we would be able to warm up just that one part of the office. However, with the door open and the air constantly circulating, I noticed a very, very little difference in the temperature. The room maybe got a little bit warmer, but it really wasn't that noticeable. However, once I closed the door to the office, the handy heater warmed up the room fairly quickly. I would say that probably within about 10 minutes, I definitely felt the room getting a lot warmer. Now, I also tested out the handy heater at home in a slightly larger size room and found the results to be pretty similar. If the space is enclosed and the doors are closed, the handy heater does a fairly good job of warming up the room and increasing the temperature. For a larger size room, it does take longer for the handy heater to warm up the space, but I would say in about 15 to 20 minutes, you will feel a change in temperature. However, if you are trying to use the handy heater in an open space, maybe like an open concept kitchen or a living room, it would be pretty hard to notice any change in temperature. So based on my experience testing out the handy heater, here are my pros and cons. The one thing that I really like about this heater is that it is very portable. It fits easily into a purse or a bag, and it would be very convenient if for whatever reason you had to travel with a space heater. Another positive is that this space heater is very compact. I like the fact that it doesn't look very bulky even when it's plugged into the wall. And lastly, it is great that you can plug this heater into the wall and have it be completely out of the way. 
You don't have to worry about anything being on the floor or tripping over cables. Now as for the cons, what was my third positive could also be seen as a negative and that is the fact that this handy heater doesn't have a cord. Now I think a lot of people would prefer a cord that would allow them to extend the handy heater and position it wherever they would like in the room. Not having a cord and the extra couple feet of extension really limits you as to where you can position the handy heater. A second negative is that this handy heater really does only perform well in small enclosed spaces. It is hard to feel the effects of the heater if you are in a larger space that is not closed off or maybe has bigger ceilings or for example in an open concept area. Another negative is that you cannot connect the handy heater to extension cord or surge protectors. So if you were thinking of making the handy heater more versatile by connecting it to an extension cord, it is definitely not recommended. Also, the heater does get hot when in use. Now normally I wouldn't think much of it and I would really even expect that out of most space heaters. However, I do feel that it's worth pointing out, especially when the company makes that claim on their website and on the packaging that it does stay cool to touch. However, when you read the instruction, it does warn you that the heater gets hot and could be a potential burn hazard. Also, this handy heater cannot be used with GFCI outlets or the safety outlets that we often find in bathrooms or laundry areas. For that reason, the safety instructions do state that you should not use the handy heater in bathrooms, laundry rooms, or any places where you can find those type of outlets. And lastly, in my opinion, the handy heater is just not a very good value. For under $50, you can easily find a space heater that would do a much better job of heating up larger areas and would have more settings and options such as oscillation, different temperature settings, and a fan only setting. Now, those space heaters might not be as compact or portable as the handy heater, but they would definitely do a much better job of heating an area or a room. So the bottom line is that the big emphasis with the handy heater seems to be on its compact design and portability. If you're looking for a heater for a small space that could easily be moved around or transferred, the handy heater might just be the perfect solution for you. However, if portability is not a big issue for you and you are looking for a heater that would warm up a space quickly and efficiently, I would say that there are plenty of better options on the market. So that was my take on the handy heater. I really hope that it was helpful. Remember to subscribe to Haya on YouTube for more product reviews and be sure to join us next time.